Okay, hello, hello, hello. Good, uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope everyone is at the best of health. Um, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes uh, for me to just uh, get things up and running. Uh, thank you so much for joining in. I'm feeling a bit lost a bit here right now because I can see the people viewing on LinkedIn, on my LinkedIn, but on my stream, I only see one person viewing it, so I'm not sure why. But that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, whether you're watching from uh, StreamYard or whether you're watching from LinkedIn or you're watching, whether you're watching from uh, YouTube or Facebook, uh, we, whichever platform that you're watching us from, thank you so much for joining us. Ooh, okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Um, thank you so much for joining us once again uh, for the, another live series for So What Do You Do? Uh, for those of you who actually joined us a previous live session. Um, so basically, what do you do a... It's not your typical kind of uh, podcast or live show. We'll be basically be getting professionals to share about the myth and truth about their profession or their industry in hope to give a bit more inspiration to uh, new ones or even motivation for the existing ones, okay? Uh, at the same time, to create a bigger awareness about the different types of career or professions available out there, all right? So, uh, while we wait just a bit more, all right, while we wait just a little bit more, uh, if you guys can do me a favor, if you're tuning in from LinkedIn, you can just drop a comment, just say that you're from LinkedIn. If you're from YouTube, you can just say that you're from YouTube or you're from Facebook, you can say from Facebook, whichever channels that you're from, um, go ahead and uh, comment so that we know where you guys are from, okay? So, for today's So What Do You Do series, it's going to be a bit interesting. Uh, be, not a bit interesting, lah, to be honest. Because it's a bit interesting later, the person I'm talking to feel a bit, huh, a bit only, ah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I would say it's really, really interesting because the landscape about the landscape of the workforce has shifted, especially after the pandemic. In fact, uh, the trend, the trend of uh, this whole idea of um, freelancing or the gig economy has grown uh, exponentially or tremendously. All right, everyone's. Everyone, you know, uh, I just had a conversation with uh, these two ladies earlier on, right? And then we were saying that, oh, uh, people even started having their own terminologies beyond just the word freelance. But in actual fact, it's actually backing on the word freelance lah, okay? Um, so, uh, whatever it is, whatever it is, uh, it's really to uh, dive in and to really understand a bit more about uh, what the I, what, what's the career like being a freelance? What are some of the myth or stereotype of a freelance, right? Uh, but of course, when it comes to freelance, there's a lot of different kind of uh, freelancers. Uh, there are people who do all sorts of other career, I mean, other specific uh, special uh, aspect of freelancing, whatever their capabilities are. Okay, so for today specifically, I will not be introducing them, introducing them so in detail because I'm going to leave it to them to introduce themselves. Uh, but wait, hello, hello, hello. I think uh, LinkedIn had some issues. That's why whatever name pop up on my screen is just LinkedIn user. Okay. Okay, whatever lah, whatever, whatever. Okay, uh, but yes, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in from LinkedIn, appreciate for, for tuning in. Okay, so, like I mentioned, for today's live or today's series, whether you are watching us live or you are listening to the podcast once it's up on uh, uh, various podcast channels, uh, today's topic will be talking about the freelancers. That, that the life of a freelancer and i'm very very thankful very very fortunate because it sounds very cliche uh, you know when do, doing opening oh, very fortunate very thankful and all that but no really i'm genuinely very glad that i'm having these two ladies right here uh, from the freelancers academy i will let them introduce themselves all right so uh, hang on uh, hang on whoever that is behind the screen relax you don't have to click anything okay so, so that your camera don't move around huh? <laughs> okay let me just get you on screen um let me get you guys on screen right now. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm here already. I'm here already. Yeah. I'm here already. Hello, hello. Ah, okay. <laughs> hello. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Relax. Ah, happy, yeah, y'all. Okay. That's how I was thinking. Ah, yeah, what are we supposed to talk about? Okay. Relax, relax, relax. Okay. Wow. Okay. I need to brief us. I need to brief us. How are you both doing? Good. Great. That's all. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying not to move because clearly oh, okay, we okay. all know who is the moving screen now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh my okay. god, okay. We, we yeah. cannot make her laugh, huh? We cannot make her laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious. <sighs> okay, serious, serious, serious. <laughs> okay, so uh, today I have Rini, I have AJ with me. Alright, the both of them, they have their own special um, 
uh, how should I put it? They have their own special uh, subject matter. They are subject matter expert in their own fields. But at the backing of it, they are basically the co-founders of the Freelancers Academy. Uh, I will let them introduce themselves. All right. I will let them introduce themselves. Uh, and then after that, we're going to find out a little bit more. Lah. We're going to find out a little bit more. So maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought she mute herself. She don't. We don't. She don't be the first one talking. though. No. okay. Uh, so maybe let let's do this. All right. Uh, in fact, uh, because we're just gonna have maybe about forty five minutes for the next forty five minutes. So maybe I get you guys to introduce yourself. Um, what exactly freelancer academy? Because I will not try to. I'll just get straight to the point. Uh. I'll just get straight to the point. So what is freelancers academy all about? What TFA is really all about? And a bit about yourself as well. Okay. So let's go. Whoever, whichever want to go first. So wait, TFA first or ourselves first? Up to you lah. Whichever you want to go first. Doesn't matter. Okay, maybe then... we just do ourselves lah. Huh? Huh, okay, okay. Just do our, ourselves first, then we introduce TFA. Okay, so uh, hey guys, I'm AJ and I'm an audio creator. I'm also a co-founder of the Freelancers Academy, TFA. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I just put you on the screen. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just done. Oh, okay, okay, go, go, go. Next, next, next. Okay, so. This is so funny. Okay. So, uh, hey guys, I'm uh, Rini Ismail. I'm a video producer and co-founder of uh, The Freelancers Academy. So, basically, The Freelancers Academy is to um, help to elevate the profession of freelancers through our bite-sized content. Nice. Yeah. All right. So, there you go. Uh, if you are a freelancer, all right, um, first things first is uh, of course, a bit selling of Koyo right here. Okay, if you are a freelancer or you want to find out a bit more about uh, what freelancing is all about, what Freelancers Academy is all about, um, they are literally on Instagram, they are literally on Facebook, LinkedIn, they have their own website. You just got to go on Google and type out the Freelancers Academy. <laughs> you can get to know a bit more about them. Huh? Yes, okay? Yes. Why you love? We're everywhere. Why you love? <laughs> We're everywhere. Why you love? Why you love? Okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So, um... As you all can see, it's as raw as I can get. Uh, basically, I did not. I try not to make it so formal, lah. So mm. if any form of uh, mispronunciation, misalignment, or whatever we're gonna talking about, you're gonna see it live as well. Alright, and that's it is what it is, lah. Alright, it is what it is. Don't need to fake, lah. We, we are because the, the three of us we're not gonna fake our content because we're gonna be telling you literally some of the myths, some of the 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 stereotypes that's available out there. Okay, mm. so alright. People are on LinkedIn, but I cannot see their names on my stream yet. Ah, yeah, stream yet. Ah, pay so much, but like this. No, no, kidding, 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 kidding. <laughs> no, I love using stream yet. I love using stream yet. Uh, <laughs> no, kidding, kidding. I, I mean, they can check out my content because I do. I use a lot of stream yet for my uh, trainings as well. So stream yet. Uh, please, if you wanna get, uh, give me some discounts, please go ahead. Okay, so, all right. I have a few questions for them for the next 35 to 45 minutes. Um, just as per my previous live session as well, but there'll be a flow to my question. But most importantly, I'll be having the last, I'll be leaving the last question is what I call it as the golden ticket advice for those who want to explore or do what they do. And I will leave that to the end. And uh, I think the reason why I share the question at the start is because to give them some time to actually think about it because they might not have thought about the answer yet. So the question at the end would be um, golden ticket advice for those who want to explore or be a freelancer. Huh? That would be the last question that I will ask. Lah. So you all okay. can think about what would be the golden ticket advice. Lah. Okay? okay. So uh, <laughs> so the very first question, okay, the very first question is this, uh, as the title of the series itself, what do you do? Okay, just now you guys actually introduced a bit um, about what you guys do, uh, audio, video and all that, but as a freelancer, what do you exactly do? Okay. Uh, so that, that would be my, 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 in fact, the start of the whole conversation. Uh, it sounds a bit serious, but uh, it is a very serious topic right now. We're just going to find out what do you really do? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah. So, what do you do, actually? If someone would just come to you and say, hey, what, what do you guys do as a freelancer? How, I mean, what, what do you guys actually really do, though? Yeah. Whoever, go ahead. Whoever? Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Go. So, okay, for me, I've uh, I've been in the video industry for about seven years now. And I've been freelancing uh, as a video producer for seven years. And mm -hmm. uh, my target audience mostly are like B2B rather than B2C. And in terms of freelancing, I do a whole lot 
other than video production or editing uh, mm. as, as of other business out there, uh, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you are solopreneur, mompreneur, fempreneur, uh, freelancing itself is doing things that what the other businesses are doing. Like, for example, mm. marketing, finance, uh, um, what else? Uh, what else? <laughs> I cannot think about it. The CEO uh, of the company, yeah, basically BD. the whole thing. Sai Kang Warrior. Sai Kang Warrior. Yeah, like, Sai Kang mm. is everything. Like Pakalau, everything. So uh, mm. if if you are actually, usually freelancer is a, is a one man or one woman show. So we technically mm. have to do everything ourselves. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, you can uh, have the choice to maybe like outsource uh your some of your works like probably uh maybe if you're not good at uh let's say you're not good at finance you can actually outsource it to maybe uh an accountant or yeah. a, a bookkeeper you know that kind of thing so mm. if you're not good at uh writing you can also outsource it to a copywriter or a content writer uh in in that sense yeah but mm. technically itself freelancing you are doing everything on your own I right, see. Right. So yeah. you do everything. Right. Okay, I hear you. You do everything on your own. Okay, how about AJ? AJ, whether you do everything okay, on your so. own or so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess okay. I mean, like whatever we uh, whatever really shared, it's 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 the true essence of it, right? But then, usually when I get this question, okay, mm. and sometimes it's really hard to explain. I'm not like saying that's right or wrong or anything, but yeah. sometimes um other people don't get what freelancing is about. It can be confusing. So, mm -hmm. usually, if you keep things short and sweet, right, I would just say that I am a music teacher. Mm. Okay, because, because when I say, like, audio, audio creator, the huh, audio creator or means what, you know? And then sometimes, yeah. you know, like, you have to explain yourself. But even after explaining yourself, they still don't get it. So, I will keep it layman term. I teach music, full stop. Mm -hmm. If they want to mm -hmm. know more, because I'm not just that, right? So, I would just say that, oh, I'm running my own business. Mm. So, usually, okay, I think later on in this discussion, we're going to talk about the misconception that people have about yeah. freelancers. So sometimes mm -hmm. people will understand, oh, you're entrepreneur. Ah, okay. Then they won't ask you any more questions. So, <laughs> so it really depends on who you're talking to. You know, if they are, for example, if I'm talking to another freelancer, if I'm, if I'm talking to another entrepreneur, then I can say, oh, you know, I, I do this, I do that. Uh, but then yep. if you're talking to like just general public and mm -hmm. they just don't get the idea of like freelancing or entrepreneurship, you just have to just state the most obvious thing that they can they can digest yeah so this is yeah. like it's, it's a person it's, it's my own my own personal experience that you know sometimes when you go for family gathering and you get questions asked like oh uh what do you do what, what are you working as you know what's your job mm. so i would just say oh yeah i just teach music then like oh mm. okay then like you know that then end of story yeah but if if i were to say what i really do mm. and then they're gonna like uh, so exactly what is it you know they get confused yeah. la. so yeah. i get confused yeah. I think it's so the same as video as well. If I were to say uh -huh. video producer, they may not get it. So I just say okay. videographer lah. Yeah. And then after I say videographer, they will say, mm -hmm. oh, do you do weddings? That's the only uh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. but mine is like, mine so is you like, do oh, weddings, you, yeah. you, you DJ, is it? Like sometimes I'll say like, oh, I'm a music, uh, I mean, I'm not music, like audio creator. So, oh, so you right. DJ that one, is it DJ? I say, ah, yeah lah, DJ, DJ. I, I would I would like to make a statement right here, but I'm not sure whether it it might be taken as being racist or offensive. <laughs> but uh, basically, that stereotype is because of the racial influence as well. <laughs> is that racial influence? It's like oh, uh, you know videography. Oh, wedding. Malay orang kawin. Orang yeah. orang kawin. It seems like videography is only wedding. But in actual fact, you mean what? Those those advertisement on TV doesn't use videography works. You mean those uh. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah yeah right using photos even when you say photography also ah uh, wedding uh. everything also wedding and then for audio because, yeah I think it's also because if it's like TV commercials all that right uh, maybe uh -huh. in their mind it's like they have their like own team because media corp right so it's like media corp is like the whole hey. right thing all together like some now media corp also outsource a lot of like yeah. media groups and stuff mm. like that so I think that's True. why uh maybe also in terms of the race. Like maybe they don't have like our race as a corporate videographer. Maybe mm, uh, they mm, only mm. see it. Uh, usually they only see it during weddings. So that's mm -hmm. why that's the only fact. The only uh, the first thing that follow ups after I say videography. Oh, you do weddings? Yeah, that's uh -huh. the only thing. That then I was I would just say no lah. I do corporate <laughs> videos. So that that itself 
that itself already kind of like one of the stereotypes that we, yeah, I mean, yeah. individually lah, individually, right? Mm. Uh, but if let's say it's just the term freelancers, because we talk about freelancers, right? Uh, then of course, like they say lah, you guys are, you know, SME or subject matter expert for your own respective fields lah, audio or videography. Um, mm. But that one very nice lah, one audio, one video, that's why you're like, you know, like gel up together. Uh, matching, nice matching. Thing. Yeah, yeah, matching, yeah. Matching. yeah, yeah. We, we, we married, compliment. Married. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why, that's why. Your compliment one another lah. Okay, yes, so, uh, but the question is, as a freelancer, okay, not, not, let's not go into the specific of a videographer or an mm. audio expert. What mm. are some of that stereotypes that, I mean, I was a freelancer myself. I was a freelancer myself. Uh, what are some of the stereotypes that you have gotten? Okay, let's, let's divide into two parts. Huh? You have gotten from the society or the people around you. That's first part. And then the next part mm-hmm. we're going to be talking about is stereotypes from uh, possible clients or possible people who are paying you. You're, you're paying master lah. So we're going to talk about it separately. Okay, we're going to talk about it separately. Yeah. So the first part will be the society or the co- community. Co- community. Eh? Co- oh, community. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about the community. Uh, what are some of the... AJ, don't laugh. Later your camera drop. No? Okay, we're going to talk about... Any <laughs> uh, <laughs> The common <laughs> stereotype or or perhaps the misconception of a freelancer within the people around you. What would that be? Uh, some of it that you have heard before. Lah. I mean, mm. Um, mm. the most common one okay. is in our name, lah, right? Freelancer. So what is that? <laughs> Number one word do you see? Should, don't make guess. Free. Come on. Yeah. Free. Yeah, exactly. 10 points for you. Yes, yeah, 10 points. Ding, ding. Right. <laughs> yeah, Free, so, okay. Uh, misconception, yeah. Very common. As in within the people around you, you mean? Um, as in like um, as society, society, society yeah, as well. So sometimes okay. you, you say freelance. So it's like, oh, freelance means you do things for free. And it's like, mm, yeah, sure. I can survive mm. with air. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and exposure. And exposure. Oh. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, okay. You, we'll get to that. We'll get to freelance, that. Yeah, you freelance before. So I'm pretty sure all of us, uh, we all share the same pain points, yeah. I think another one is also they have this misconception. I mean, community. It's uh they have this misconception that freelancers are less stressful than a full time career, mm. like a uh, maybe nine to five job, uh mm. maybe like uh you know like uh, any any other job. Like maybe they think that freelancing is less stressful. Mm. Yeah. So that, that's kind of the what, what what would why why do you think that would be the why, why do you think that misconception even have in the started in the first place? Uh? I mean, just a, just to get a bit deeper uh, in the conversation. I mean, because stereotypes are created because of certain things that happen, because of certain right, actions, yeah. certain conversation. But why, why do you think even such a thought process even happens within the community thinking that, oh, freelancers are okay, la, you got more time, la, oh, you can take up uh, cheaper uh, projects, la, oh, you can afford to not, you can just afford to spend, even like right now, right? Oh, it's okay, la, just spend half an hour, talk to me for free, this kind of thing, example, <laughs> example. Uh, why? Uh? Why do you think that happens? Uh? Um, I, I guess I, I feel that it's because of, you know how in every um, community, there will always be the bad eggs or like the bad apples. So mm. in the freelancing community, as I mean, as much as, you know, we want to think very positively of everyone and everyone yeah. is being professional about it and being, you know, like it's supposed to be a happy environment where people or like freelancers we come in together we grow together we help one another i mean that's the that's the true that's, that's the true essence of being a freelancer however mm. um because like you know when people just start starting out and they're hungry you know to get that first dollar and then they will do whatever it takes right so maybe because of that and then you know we have like a few bad or like bad eggs in the basket and then um, the society then see the bad eggs and then they assume Everybody that all the right. freelancers are like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's, that's I, think as I, a, I guess, as a freelancer ourselves, freelancer ourselves, we have to take our freelancing seriously or professionally. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a business. It's a business. So build your business uh, professionally. Make sure, you know, like some, some freelancers don't think that uh, an example, uh, some mm-hmm. freelancers don't think that um, registering their company is important. Mm. But it is. You have to register your company even though you are maybe just doing for uh, as a side hustle, let's say. Yep. It's good for you to register. It's good for you to be in the system so that, you know, 
if anything, I mean, if you if you look at what is happening right now, uh, COVID happens, and what is happening to freelancers, they they don't have anything, they don't have a job, and if you don't yeah. register yourself, and if you are not in the system, how yeah. can the uh you know the uh com uh, not say community but the bigger umbrella like the government want to yeah. uh would like to see you? How are they going to see you? How are they going to help you? If you are not yep. in the system itself, so it's that is the most important thing. Even if you are freelancing as a side hustle, it's very important for you to register yourself, be okay. be uh, responsible towards your business, even though it's a side hustle. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I, I, I mean, can also. Yeah, I mean, if you if you actually doing it your full time, then if the it's more even so more, more <laughs> so you should actually True. register yourself. Yeah. So, exactly. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Correct. yeah. yeah. So Sorry. Just maybe you wanted to add something. Yeah, so I mean, just to add on uh, yeah. to Winnie's point, um, because like for because free K, the reason why after the pandemic, right, like the self-employed, the freelancers are on the pedestal for a mm. reason. It's because one, uh, one is that apparently in Singapore, ten percent of the workforce are freelancers. I mean, I just got to yeah. know the statistic like yesterday. <laughs> when I was in a focus group, this uh, I was in a focus group discussion, which was very interesting because you know you yeah. have the stats going on and stuff like that, and then you know if like. Like for example, like if you have a family, okay, let's say you have a family and you have like thousand over not thousand, have a family and you have let's say eight kids, okay. Mm. Let's just say, <laughs> let's just say for example, sure. thousand who who no 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 I think thousand too much. So if we're gonna okay, let's just take uh let's just contextualize, okay. Let's say in a family uh, okay. you have eight uh, children, all right, okay. eight children um and then you know they're supposed to like you know go and go to school and everything, but then if you don't send them to school, right? How would the government know that your child has education? Something like yeah. that, yeah. So yeah, as a freelancer, you know, as a freelancer, right? You do you you know you get your 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 gigs, you're, you're living the life. But then, if if you know, it's all very in the now. You know, it's very hard mm -hmm. to predict the future. So what happens if there's like a pandemic or there's like a catastrophe that is beyond your control and you need like a larger body to come and help you, right? But then you mm -hmm. don't do your due diligence to you know get yourself known. In the mm -hmm. eyes of, let's say, the government, then and they're going to blame the government, but then actually it's your fault because you didn't do the due diligence, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I think at the end of the day, like because for freelancers, it's, it's still a great area because, like for example, like yeah. for myself, I just when I graduate from university, I straight away went to freelancing. However, for Rini, I mean, later she can. If we're gonna have the topic anyway, you know, she mm. she jump uh profession. Leap of faith. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so so there's like a few, there's a few like within the freelancing umbrella, there's a few sub, sub groups, categories, sub -groups, uh? yeah, yeah, different mm -hmm. categories, like we have full time, yeah, yeah full time freelancers, we have uh, those full time, they become Second. freelancers, then there's some like full time with freelance, mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, so we have different categories, so that's why it's, it's a bit difficult to like, have to pinpoint because yep. it's mm -hmm. uh, like, we're like, you know, like we have a, a different breed of freelancers, yeah. Um, yep. So where am I going with this? Is that <laughs> I also don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, where am no, I going no, with no, this? Go coming back, yeah. coming back. I guess. <laughs> um, I guess. <laughs> oh, the question that you asked just now. Uh, misconception. Yeah, misconception. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay, so coming back. Um, I think at the end of the day, whether you want to do it a side hustle or you want to do it full time, full time, or whatever, whatever breed you want to be in in the in the freelance area, right? I feel that mm -hmm. we all should be responsible for our own actions. Because yep. then, you know, it will not reflect badly on just ourselves, but also the community that we community, represent. Yep. Yeah, mm. and I think this is very apparent for any community. Mm. At, you know, at any community at all. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, like, she oh. gave the golden ticket advice already. Yeah, I was about to get to that. I was about to say that. <laughs> so, can close the session already? Okay, 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 so, uh, thank you, thank you guys, so much for joining us for today. That, that is, uh, yeah, I appreciate all your time. You, you, <laughs> okay, sorry. Later you try to think back what you just said. See whether you can remember or not. <laughs> What's the golden? You see the golden nugget first, lah. Huh? huh? No lah. Later nugget? after talk, 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 then can see. The but what if I forget? Ah, uh, that doesn't then matter, lah. It's okay. Oh, okay. Later, there will be another one. Then another one. Yeah, sure, yeah. It's sure. all good. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I hear you. I hear both of you. I, th I think something very interesting is that I saw the words that I catch from here is things like um taking it seriously. Um, because I think once you guys, I mean, we people take it seriously, naturally, that will slide, that will naturally elevate the entire, uh, the, the industry as well, or uh, whichever group of freelancer you are in, whether you're a freelancer in the yep. audiovisual industry or with the freelancer in the outdoor learning industry, whatever industry you may, you may be, mm. 
but I think um, it's to take it seriously and to put your values out there, lah. Right? Yeah. Uh, because I think if everyone put a, uh, I mean, the value is it's a very substandard kind of value. Then people will have that misconception about oh, freelancers are cheap, right? Or freelancers cannot be mm. dependent. They cannot be depend. They cannot be dependable and whatever not lah. And then that's where all the probably the misconception also come from. Um, yeah. yeah. And therefore, really, I'm just curious. Because AJ mentioned that hey, you kind of shifted, uh, from I mean we don't some, I mean for both of us we definitely know lah your background just of where you are in corporate and all that. How did you even shift it? Oh my from god! From corporate, uh, by the way, we only got about um the life okay lah. We can stretch maybe until two a.m. lah. So you have to tell the entire story also. Okay? <laughs> no, no, kidding, 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 kidding. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh how do you shift it and that leap of faith? Because to be honest, I don't dare, no. Yeah, some people are telling me, shoot, I think you can just leave your corporate world and then just go to start your own thing and then start your own training firm, whatever not. I say, no, I cannot, I cannot. I don't dare, I don't dare. Mm. How, what was that leap of faith? What was that calling? And yeah, some of the things, the fear that you had, lah, let's be honest, what are some of the fears that you had when you had to make that jump or leap of faith? My fear came after I jumped. <laughs> so guys, uh, don't do this at home, okay? Don't, don't do, do this at home. Not do this at home. <laughs> yes. So yeah, your advice I... is jump first, think about it later. No, don't. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Don't, okay, okay. Just say don't do this at home. You so want them? Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. If, unless, unless you are really, you know, you have your, you are financially stable for maybe in the, in the next six months or in the next one year. To, mm. you know, uh, sustain because when you first start freelancing or when you first start business full time, uh, mm. you definitely the first few months or at least a year, you don't have anything. I mean, probably maybe you don't have it. You need to build your portfolio. You need to build your rapport with other people. So that actually takes time and that probably mm. couldn't uh, match whatever pay that you have during your full time job or nine to five job. Okay. So if you sense. decide to jump from nine to five to freelancing or from nine to five to create or uh, maybe a, a to do business full time make sure that your finance uh, finance is always ready uh, you have to mm. you need to have your finance ready and for me i don't have any like trigger or anything mm. it's uh, maybe maybe if you want to call it trigger the only trigger that i had was i just want to be my own boss that was mm. it I don't mm. I don't know anything about business. I know nuts about business. I come I came from a a, a background of uh, I mean like family where we study hard, work hard, climb the corporate ladder and then mm. you you know like like get paid through the corporate ladder lah. But yep. uh, uh, uh but for me it's more of like okay, I had enough of uh working for other people. I mm. just want to be my own boss without knowing how to be my own boss, without knowing how to build a business. So okay. I just uh, yeah, I just swim. I just jump in the water without learning how to maybe blow bubbles or even. Can I like swim? Can I yes? Can I pause 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 that thought a little bit? Sure. Uh, be your own boss. I think I think that's a very common thing, right? Uh, mm. I, I realize a lot of us, a lot of people out there, the the reason why they want to get into that whole space of running their own thing, freelancing, is because they don't they don't want to feel the restriction. They feel that I don't need to. I don't want to report to anyone anymore. I want to make my own decision, but. Can that really be your only factor to really have a smooth sailing right? Can that be only driving factor? I know it's a very stupid question to ask, lah, but uh, for the sake of conversation, mm. yeah, what are your thoughts about it? No, I mean, like, if you just think, okay, this was uh, many years back. I think, okay, now mm. I'm freelancing for seven years already. So it's about when I'm 20 something. Yeah. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I was young. So nothing. You're so young. You're like, so young. Okay, <laughs> I was young, <laughs> so so uh, I didn't think much about like what you mentioned, like I uh, be your own boss. It's just yeah. like like you, also what you said. Um, I don't want to report to somebody else anymore. Mm. But you cannot just depend on okay. I want to be my own boss. I don't want to you know like report to my boss. I don't want to wake up early, uh, yep. early in the morning. I don't want to you know rush in the train to to uh go to work. But you need. I think you need to go beyond like what is your purpose of, you know, jumping. 
you need mm. to find that you need to find your purpose maybe your purpose let's say uh you want uh you want to you know take care of your kids let's say you want to take care of your kids full time while you are doing it maybe freelancing but at the same time you need to also manage your time if you are doing a yeah. freelancing or you are doing a business because right. being building the business and being with your kids or being maybe like uh, 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 have more time in family you need to set that timing aside so at that point of time there was no such thing as separating my time i was just like you know okay i'm i don't want i don't want to be i don't want to work anymore i just want to uh-huh. do my own business and that was it mm. and i never ever ever advise anyone to to uh-huh. do that like what i did yeah don't do it if you are listening don't do it. If you're working full time, <laughs> don't do like what I did. So, hmm. oh wow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I was about to take that decision actually. You can. Oh, actually, I've got a question though. I've got a question. Come, come, come. Uh, so, no, 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 AJ and me. The, yeah, yeah. Me and AJ will ask more questions. Come, come, come. So, we will target all the questions to Rini. Okay, come. Thanks, okay, okay. guys. Okay, not, not just Rini, okay. Because, you know, you mentioned oh, about. Okay. So, Rini, Rini was from 9 to 5 to freelance. Okay, uh-huh. if we were hmm. to reverse that, That would be you, right, Shukri? Because you were freelance and then you went to a night of Yeah, club. exactly. So yeah. maybe we will, now it's our turn to ask you why you Definitely made that shift. Change, 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 because you're... So, Trust so, change. So Shukri, why did you make that shift? Shukri have left the life. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, why I made that shift, to be very frank and honest, um, mm. I think the challenge for me was um, my profession, if I may say, uh, because... I am in the space where I'm doing training development, people development and all that. You know what they say about doing people development, right? You need to have, uh, for for you to really climb as a trainer in the industry is that you need to have more white hair in that sense. Because the more white hair you have, the more people will listen to you. Uh, I mean, but I totally don't believe in that, lah, to be very frank. I don't believe in that. Because to, wh- whoever is watching this, especially on LinkedIn, if you're a boss, I'm going to tell you that's crap, okay? Uh, that's just nonsense because um sorry yeah that, okay that's as blunt as i can get but um the reality of thing is that uh, uh i first found that hey i wanted to have more experience in the different industries and uh mm. i think the only way for me to do that is to actually get into full time to really understand how the business actually function internally because as a right. freelance i'm not able to do that to be very frank uh, as mm. a trainer yeah i can come in i can conduct this training that training as an external party but i'm not able to really understand and uh appre- appreciate what the business is going through so what i wanted to do is um because w- of course i aspire one day to have my own training firm but to me is that mm. for me to have my own training firm the only logical thing to do is for me to understand how the industries are work- functioning how they work you know right. i can't be coming into a logistic industry conduct training for the corporate industry in the logistic and tell people oh this is how logistics should be running and all that but i don't have any background about logistics You know, I cannot be going into a retail industry doing training, but I don't have any background about customer service. I don't have any background about training uh, or in the retail industry. So that's exactly the reason why I wanted to get into full-time because I really wanted to understand how the business run, how business decisions are being made internally. Mm. So that was my decision. Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Mm. Right. Suddenly when, when she was sharing, uh, like this thought came to mind. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, definitely that that's a very, very valid point. You know, if you want to learn to run your business, you have to see how business are run, as in how business runs, and then mm. you can apply it to your own, and then just take the good stuff and you know throw away the bad stuff. I mean, that's what we all uh, should be doing. Um, maybe mm. another thing also, like it just came to my mind is that one thing. Okay, like we we're gonna talk about TFA a bit. Okay, so mm. the reason why TFA TFA was born, like how you mentioned, you know, like when. Rini and AJ come together, it's like a perfect match because we complement each other. And when you mention mm. about like being a trainer, right, there are certain areas that you are not, um, you're not niche at. So one mm, beautiful yeah. thing about like being a freelancer or, com- or a collective of freelancers, right, is that if you know someone who is a trainer, who is good at maybe logistics, who, who are good at you know, different, like, different areas, and they can always tap on them. Because for mm. us at TFA, we believe in collaboration. Whereby it's a, yep. whereby we believe in like shared resources, so that let's say if, for example project A I can't be doing I'll just hand of A Rini I've got this project you wanna like take over from mm. here so it's a it's like a win win situation and then like for Rini you yep. know if she has a project she can't take an AJ you wanna do this project so we hope that you know by building TFA and building the community of freelancers you know moving forward you know in the workforce or in the mm. employment industry right we we hope that it becomes less of a competition and more of a collaboration, collaboration. because 
when mm. you come as a collective, right, you are so much stronger. And sometimes yep. people tend to forget that, you know, mm. wh- if you're alone, there's so much that you can do. But if you are like a unit, you know, mm. and you're running things, right, and then you, you get to do more things that you never thought that you would achieve. Like mm. how TFA has, you know, how TFA has reached where it is today. So just nice. to reiterate the point about your, yep. your sharing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally agree as well. Um, the point about the collaboration aspect, I think um, no better time than now to actually really, um, for individuals or even businesses for that matter, right, uh, as an entity to actually look into how they can actually really collaborate. I think that's what we are seeing a lot uh, out there. Uh, just to talk about, I know it's about freelancing, but I just did, just came to my mind uh, how uh, big brands, how big brands are actually doing collaboration that you never really thought of lah. For example, like, uh, you know, Avins, right? Avins, Avins Software. Yeah. Ah, yes, Pokemon, uh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, they, uh, okay, that's one. And I'll tell you, now, recently, uh, the they just uh, had a collaboration with uh, Cotton On as well. So now, if you go to Cotton On store, you can see mm. their apparel. So Avins, never, nobody would think about it, right? A yeah. food business get into apparel. And then they also, right now, they just collaborated with uh, Pezzo as well. So you have a Pezzo mm. with salted egg chips okay. on it. So I, I was just talking to uh, I was talking to the I was talking to Achan. Achan is a COO. And then I was telling him, hey, since Pezzo is the same umbrella as uh, Crave Nasi Lemak, are we gonna see a uh, Irvin's X Crave Nasi Lemak? <laughs> That'd be wow. interesting, right? Wow. Huh? Yeah. yeah interesting. So yeah. it's really I mean, about. I mean, it's good. It's a it's a good collaboration that they did, especially on the apparel side. Maybe maybe they yeah. might have thought of having merchandise, but did that the only can, they might not be able to do it by them. Do, yeah, correct. Yes, they don't have the capacity yeah. or they don't have the knowledge. So might as well they collaborate. Exactly. Right? Yes. Mm. Exactly. Because mm. I think at the end of the day, then you find that, hey, I want to do apparel, but the thing is that's not my niche. I need to source yeah. for my material sourcing, product placement, inventories and mm. all that. Why not just leverage on someone else? I pump in my money for R&D to their marketing effort. Yeah. So at least my product can run faster, launch faster rather than I go through the entire process of R&D, sourcing and all that. So yeah. Yeah. It, it, works, like. it works for uh, freelancing as well. Yes. Yeah. So mm. I, I mean, I've been working with a lot of videographers. They are some sort my competition because they are doing B two B as well. They are mm. they are doing B two B work. But if yeah. I can't do that job, might as well I you know like outsource Source it or up. give the yeah, I, exactly. I give the project to them, rather yeah. than I not. I mean, I don't do it at all, or you know like mm. I don't make it as a competition. Yeah. yeah. I I like that point because I think for me, assume okay, I'm putting myself in the position of a freelancer lah. Uh, you. You talk about the collaboration, but I think the question that I have would be, uh, let's assume I got a client, if I got this opportunity, mm. uh, then how about the money? I think that would be the next question. The, some of the reason maybe I don't want to collaborate, assuming is that, mm. then the money how? Uh, I'm already earning so much, then I want to mm. collaborate, then the money, of course people say, hey, but shoot, you shouldn't think about the money. But the reality of things is there, right? People need money to survive. I, I think yeah, I cut right. the cheap, cut the crap of saying that, oh, uh, yes, as much as we do things because of purpose, because of why, yes, I truly believe in that. Yeah. But money has to be one of the factors because you can be doing day in, day out. But if you are not seeing the the returns, right, in terms of value, in terms of money as so, well, you're going to get drained out eventually as well. Lah, because, um, I mean, that should be one of the elements, may not be everything. So the question would be, uh, how, how do you talk about the money then? You know, hey, the client paying me only so much, but I want the project, you know, but the thing is I cannot do it by myself. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll just share. Um, maybe I'll just share something that that is actually currently uh, going uh, with the two of us. So you remember when I, when I mentioned that you know if I project and I can't do it, I'll I'll just pass one to yeah. Rini or and vice versa. So uh-huh. one thing is that when we approach a client, okay, uh-huh. we not only offer one service but we offer two services. So let's okay. say we okay for example, Shukri, your client, the hey, Shukri, you know, if you engage us, not only you have your video edited, but your audio edited as well. So we come in a package, mm. and then maybe you know for yourself, you have friends and friends, and then maybe some of your friends just want audio, some of your friends just want video, and then because yeah. of that collaboration, you know, not just one person but two, and then mm. when you share to your friends, and then it's essentially like having more clients. So if Makes you were sense. to put. If you have to put into perspective, right? okay, fine, maybe the first project you have like 50-50, which is fair, right? Because it's split work. But then later on, if you look in the long term, right, you got to have clients that you don't even need to yep. find. You know, they will be the one finding for you. And in the mm. long term, you're going to earn more than what you can do just alone. So yep. uh, my advice for, for those of you guys who you know, want, want to freelance and you have this fear of like, oh, if I collaborate, I will earn less. Just put that mindset away because you'll never know that 
someone else might just need only your services. And it's really like, I won't say luck, but mm -hmm. I feel that, you know, the more you give, the more returns you get. Yep. So yep. it's really, it's really the essence of it. Lah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. I think it also depends on um, how is the collaborations going to be about mm. in the first time. Like, for example, uh, I've been working with a lot of videographers, like I mentioned earlier. So the kind of collaboration I have is um, they will actually do the filming for me. So I'll be mm. the producer. So I'll be liaising with the client. I'll be liaising with uh, the uh, what, what, whatever they need, the storyboard, the scripting, all this via the clients. But I have, you know, like I, I, I basically outsource or I collaborate with another videographer to do the filming for me. So mm -hmm. because of that collaboration, we actually had a bigger project. Uh, if I may say it's a, a, like, for example, a SIA project or Hungry Go Wear project. So I got mm -hmm. all these projects because of all this collaboration because nice. they, one, because the videographers know how I work as a producer. Okay. Two, as a producer, I know how he works as a videographer. So if we actually do have projects, then we will call a uh, guy, I mean like, bro sis <laughs> you know bro. like you want to you know you want to collaborate with me like with mm. this project and then uh -huh. he or she will also call me like hey you want to be my producer to this project because he knows or she knows how i actually uh liars with the client let's say yeah mm. so that it's a, it's a win-win situation if you actually collaborate it's yep. if you do everything on your own uh yes mm -hmm. you can if you want but mm -hmm. In the long run, it will be taxing from seven years' experience. Yes, and what if you fall sick? Yeah, what if yeah. you fall sick? Who's gonna Who's gonna cover you? Huh? I've thought thought before, <laughs> not. Yeah, so mm. yeah, learning, yeah, learning, learning, learning points. points. Yeah, look, golden nuggets. Today, <laughs> today, AJ is giving all golden advice. Write cool, it down, huh? guys. Yes, write it down yeah, yeah, yeah. before my yeah. before my screen my screen shakes again. So yeah. <laughs> go 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 go. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, I so okay. I think another part that I'm hearing is that it's also like creating, just like how people would run their own business, is to create your own menu, lor. Is to really like create your own menu. Yeah. Um, at the same time, so basically, but this menu, for example, comes from me. Uh, this is what I can offer. But of course, it doesn't mean I have to be the one delivering everything. Yes. Uh, okay, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, so lah, if let's say, if say like for example, that project wants uh -huh. a male videographer, let's say, then they can mm. just contact my collaborator but if a client needs a female videographer let's say then they can mm. contact so like what aj has mentioned the opportunity will grow in the long run yeah. so don't worry about money money will come to you yes just don't be selfish that's that's yeah, all i think uh, i think the most important thing is don't be selfish lah if people yeah. were to ask you like ask you questions uh on maybe like how to be an audio editor i think mm. i think it be more than happy to share how to be an audio editor or how to build an audio editor as a business let's say yeah yeah so and, and also that's why tfa is here yes you, we are here uh, for we you guys <laughs> <laughs> we have experts i mean we are we are our own experts i mean in video yes. audio but we have other experts who are full of experts, uh, experts. Well. yeah we are we, we are a platform of experts like for example we have experts in business we have experts in copywriting we have experts in finance so if you don't know what something about finance you can mm. just ask that person or that expert in our platform yes mm. Mm. nice Yes. So, yes, for those of you who are, again, once again, uh, tuning in, if you want to find out a bit more about the Freelancers Academy, as what was shared just now, do again check them out because it's really a community, it's really a space, uh, it's really a society, uh, what else, uh, it's a family, what else, what else, come, come think of a, oh, what? <laughs> all the, oh, what, what, what? a community, it's a space, mm. it's a safe it's space a, for yeah, freelancers, it's a collaborative environment, it's a safe space for environment, for freelancers, and I think uh, what they need to realize is that, I think it's a good platform as well for people who feel that, hey, I need some guidance um, yeah. on how I can really kickstart my journey, because, correct me if I'm wrong, because for those of them who are watching right now, you guys are not just running on your own. You guys are actually partnering with a few big uh, organizations. In, they are actually tapping on your expertise as well, right? Am I allowed yeah, to yeah. say the mention? Can I, can I mention where, who are they from and all that? No. I think for um, <laughs> no. PDPA, no, maybe uh? you can uh, just... Uh, okay, okay. 
Uh, if you okay, guys okay, want to yeah. know, you can just reach us a personally yes. on a personal level. Then yes. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. So please reach out to them because uh, they are not just by themselves. They are in a way they have good backing, lah. I would say they will have a look uh, quite a good backing and some back uh good uh, uh profiles and individuals or brands or people are backing them up pro- uh, so that to support more freelancers. I think to give more voice to the freelancers as well, lah. I think that's important yeah. as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. I will be asking a few, some misconception that I'm able to see, uh, some of the misconception I got online. I want to see what are your thoughts about this misconception, a bit of reaction over here, like a reaction video. Okay, okay a bit of reaction one, video. One, two, so feel free to go and comment, uh, feel free to go oh. and comment, all right? So the very first misconception is so this. We are supposed to react, is it? Uh, up to you, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to do, whatever ah. not. Lah. You want to jump, you want to scream, whatever ah. not, please, up to you. Okay. Lah. All right? <laughs> so the first one is, Freelancing actually is hurting a lot of official registered businesses. What's with that lah? What's with that lah? Okay, so can you repeat one more time? Yeah. It's like okay. <laughs> Freelancing is actually hurting a lot of businesses, small businesses to be exact. Small businesses? Small businesses. Because, uh, so assuming that you are a videographer in this case, you are freelancing, you're actually hurting those business who actually uh, like a running a boutique uh, firm, running maybe like a four-man business actually, an actual business registered with payroll, employer, employee benefit and all that as compared to you running by yourself, example. Okay? Okay. Meaning okay. in this yeah. context is you are running you, alone. You la. answer yeah. lah, Vinny. You answer. Hey, why me? <laughs> oh, uh, because you have the, you have the lens of a small business. <laughs> ah, see? <laughs> <laughs> so, what? what, what? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, they were saying that freelancers is hurting the small business, businesses. Uh, yeah, or businesses, small businesses, yes. Hmm. hmm. Okay. How oh, Rini? Is it hurting yours? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> because, right, uh, the thing is, I've worked with a lot of other small businesses. Uh, I've worked with businesses who are a team of 10. I've worked with businesses who are a team of three. And and they actually, uh, why they work with me is because um, may, at that point of time, they needed a female videographer. This is on female context uh, videographer, mm. yeah? Mm. So because okay. they are uh, uh, they are a lot, because my industry and AJ's industry are male-dominating industry. So yes. when I work with them, uh, mm-hmm. the advantage of being a female in the male de- denominating uh, male dominating <laughs> industry is okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, okay. Male dominating yeah, like, industry. Like, like. Male mm-hmm. dominating industry is 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 good lah in that sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you were say if you were to say like freelancing is hurting a small businesses businesses. I uh-huh. don't think so because I've worked with them. I've worked with uh, I've worked with a lot of freelancers. One, I've lo- worked with small businesses, one as well. Okay. So I'm mm. not really sure. Um, where does the hurt comes from? Maybe maybe I okay. can maybe I can shed some light. Uh. let's shed, let's shed some shed light. Some okay, light. Mm. Shed some light. Uh. Okay, so <laughs> I guess the reason why, if let's say I were to put myself in a small business, a uh, shoes, a uh, shoe shoes. I would say that it's about, you know how like the big fish will be eaten by the bigger fish and then the bigger fish will be eaten by the biggest fish, right? So I, f- I feel that like freelance and small businesses, we are like neighbor fish, right? We are not so big, but not so small. We're like about the same size. So I guess maybe where, they, where they're coming from like, in, in terms of hurt would be maybe other like clients who rather go for a freelancer, maybe one could be because it's cheaper. I mean, we don't have much overheads, you know, I mean, we just have to support ourselves, right? So, mm. that's one. And it could be because they want a personal touch. Because mm. what, com- what, what what small businesses do is that they are an entity, right? They're an entity, they have a certain persona, they need to, they need to, to portray themselves, like B2B. But for freelancers, yeah. we are more to like B2C because we are mm. on a personal level. So, for example, just imagine, let's say in the ecosystem, right? So, mm-hmm. freelancers provide uh, maybe their clients are small businesses so if you're already if you already evolve to small businesses then yep. go and look for the bigger sharks in bigger. the sea mm. yeah because mm. they are the one with larger spending power then all of yep. us can live happily and just going after you know the clients that are suitable for us because let's be honest if you're a small business right you cannot be spending like 
tens and thousands of dollars for like a video or like an audio. You need to, you know, be resourceful yep. and look for freelancers because they can deliver the job and mm-hmm. they, you know, affordable price. You know, just mm-hmm. don't down don't down your price, then that, that's that's fair enough. <laughs> Then and then that works for both parties, right? Freelancers are happy, you're happy, everyone goes home happy. Uh, Correct, no? If let's say and then if let's say you're a from SME and you evolve into like a larger company, company, then you go and mm-hmm. engage SMEs because then yeah. they have more manpower, they have more resources. Mm-hmm. So it's I feel it's more of like um an ecosystem. You know, you don't just see like oh freelancers are stealing stealing all my clients. You need to see who are their yeah. clients in the first place. Yeah. It could be SMEs like yeah. you guys. So. Yes, open your net because the sea is so vast. There's so many clients out yeah. there. Just catch the bigger fish. Okay, no, guys. You, <laughs> okay. Yeah. You 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 mentioned about small fish, big fish, right? In my mind, you know, I'm mm. thinking, you know. Long John is the, the no, I'm thinking the of fish big there. fish, small fish, no. Oh, I'm thinking oh of the gosh. dory. I'm thinking of the crispy dory fish and then with the chips mm. or the crisps at the side and then you dip it in the cheese. Oh, my. Okay, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. shoot it, sir. Shoot it. Yeah, shoot it. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. So that brings me to my next misconception. The next mix, mix, next mix misconception Today, is three of us. Yeah, like yeah. A lot of tongue tight. Lot of yeah. yeah. Tongue tight. Okay. So the tight. next uh, misconception is me freelancers can or always willing to take jobs for free or at a very low cost or if I have to rephrase that question, let me rephrase that question to be a bit more sorry, a bit more controversial lah. You want a cheaper option? Just five freelancer lah. No money. <laughs> five freelancer lah. <laughs> yeah. De- mm. What are your thoughts? Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I said, hear that deep breath. That's your reaction. Your reaction. That's your reaction. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I hear you. That's a reaction of uh, I need to eat, so you need to pay me properly as well lah. Yeah, I think I think it also comes back to the freelancers who are actually charging the you know like. You you cannot be down playing yourself. Yep. You yes. are a professional on its own. You are a business on its own. Mm-hmm. But if uh okay, sorry, come back to the question. What's the question again? You cannot flash, uh? <laughs> no, <laughs> because, flash. No. Oh, this one this is no because comment, I'm taking this off my screen. I'm taking this off my screen. Oh, oh okay. okay. I thought somebody commented. Okay, never oh, mind. No, 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 no. Okay, can you repeat the question? So the question is freelancers okay you want something cheap you want a cheaper option you find a freelancer you got no on, money you find a freelancer <laughs> we may not be cheap uh, depending on the experience also yeah so i mean even even if now uh wh- why is it <laughs> okay even if now if they are just starting out right they know their target uh market they know their market. How how are others charging? Uh, how uh, you know other uh, in their own industry? How are they charging? So they definitely, even though they just start out, they know that how much they should be charging. So mm. if you are talking about if you want cheap, just hire freelancers. But I'm telling you, freelancers doesn't mean we are cheap. Wow! Yeah. Now that is wow. a golden nugget. That's wow. a golden yeah. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Nice. Wow! <laughs> nice. How about AJ? Okay. What are your thoughts? Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess for me, just to add on, um, if you have cheaper option, get freelancers. I would feel. I mean, I feel that it's like a chicken egg kind of thing. You know, if let's uh-huh. say people were to say, "Oh, freelancers are cheap," and then freelancers see themselves as cheap, and then they're gonna go as cheap, you're gonna bring down the whole economy of like, um, like low balling. You know, and if mm. this continue on, right? You know, with the whole, oh my god, now, now I'm getting very technical. You know, with the whole of like rising expenditure and inflation and stuff like that, you need to go with the flow. As in like, you can't nice. always be charging the same, you know, you can't always be charging the same price. Every time, yeah. 2,000, okay, I mean, two at 20, yeah, 2,000, 20, 20, 0, 0, 2,000, right? like 2,000. <laughs> Okay, like at year 2000, I was like, if 2000 little people think it's a price, okay. Like at year 2000 versus yeah, okay. 2021, mm. yes. You need to yeah. understand that that price need to change, okay. Mm. If things I are think getting also, your best, yeah. uh, what, what, sorry? I think there's also another misconception of others. Like uh, yes. they think that we our price cannot change. It has to stay all the time yes. since we yes, started. I, I yeah. mean, so I think... 
Yeah, I mean, if, if the oh sorry, you need to see you want to finish first. Ah no no no, it's okay. Continue. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> this is a very simple, simple, simple example, lah, right? Um, if your bus fare can increase, your freelance fare also can increase. Period. Mm. <laughs> Valid point. Valid point. That brings me to my next question: Is freelancers are uh, inexperienced? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't found it right. To, like suddenly say, um, um, um. well, um, not true, but yeah, some freelancers are, but hmm. <laughs> very, very vague. Ah, uh, this inexperienced thing. Is it inexperienced yes. to do work or inexperienced yes. as inexperience a whole? What? Or what? What? What is inexperienced to you? Well, I think That's let let's put it. Maybe uh, a freelancer may be seen as lacking in uh, formal Sorry, training. Like Formal oh. work experiences. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I am a self-taught videographer. Mm. Uh, I learn videos on the go. Mm -hmm. I learn videos through mentors. Mm -hmm. I learn videos. Basically, it's um. I don't go through schools. If you want mm. to talk about, I'm inexperienced in terms of schooling. I mm -hmm. don't go to that path. But mm. I am experienced in such a way that I I am a doer. So okay. I mm. learn and do. So I nice. don't just learn, but I don't do it. So mm. I learn and do through YouTube. I mean, like I learn, I learn through YouTube, I learn through mentors, I learn, I learn through uh, seniors, I learn through those who are already in the business for a very long time. Yep. And then I apply it to my business. But if you are talking about, if you are talking about inexperience in terms of uh, schooling wise, mm -hmm. yes, I'm not experienced in that. I don't, I don't go through that path. But AJ does. AJ yes, uh, I was is gonna, experienced. I was going to yeah. yeah, say that, AJ, you know, Vinny is one. Yes. Correct. Okay, so AJ, go. take it away. AJ, take it away. Yeah, AJ, <laughs> take it away. Okay, sure. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you. So, uh, thank you, Vinny. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, hey, Please go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Ladies. Um. So so Rini is on one spectrum, and I, on the other hand, is on the other side of the spectrum. Okay. Yeah. If you're talking about in, if you're talking about inexperience, then yes, for me, I graduate with a degree. I went mm -hmm. through formal education in yeah. music in audio. Mm -hmm. Um. Inexperience. I don't have time to go for you know. Uh like find work when I'm studying because I'm a, I'm a full-time student. So mm -hmm. even if I were to find project, it's, um, it's probably like as a freelance because that's the best that, you know, while you're schooling, you freelance and then you have to just manage your time as a student. Yep. Yeah. So if you're talking about inexperience, then I will be inexperienced in terms of jobs because mm -hmm. being a student, you have that limitations, right? Yep. So, I mean, I will, I will still say that I have a few like, projects i mean that's where you know we we get to show our portfolio but then if inexperience yes job and inexperience but mm -hmm. if we're talking about education i have a degree in music and yep. nice. sometimes right like the society would rather view as you know we have we live in a very paper qualification mm -hmm. society mm -hmm. whereby they will have to see that oh you need to have a degree like in mm -hmm. paper to, yep. to show that your experience in a way mm. yeah yep. but then for freelance it's like free so that, that that that's the reason why like when i enter the freelancing world i get to level up my inexperienced job area to become yep. more experienced mm. yeah so it's like a win-win situation mm. i think for rini as well like to, yep. her, to her like in in her industry for videography right it doesn't matter whether you have a degree in videography or if there's such a thing yep. but then people will see your work your works yeah. and how you, you know, your PR, are you great with clients and stuff like that. It's really on, on the person, on the person itself. Like how mm -hmm. you, you know, represent, how you present yourself as well. Yeah, yeah. So I guess being, it's not about being book smart, but how to be street smart would mm. be the next new smart chain. Is what I think. I think also, I think also uh, you, of course you need to learn along the way. La. You yeah. know, uh, even though um, you may not have like degree in anything that is related yep. to your freelancing business. But you definitely need to learn along the way. There are a mm. lot of short courses out there yes. in, in, in the, mm. the, uh, online in the internet. So whatever you need, take that short, short course, courses. Mm. Short courses. Okay, yes. I understand. Yes. 30, yeah. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> All time, time, really. Short courses. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because uh, at the end of the day, you need to elevate or level up yourself 
yourself mm. and your business in freelancing. So learn on the go, uh, because knowledge is, it's it's forever. It's not yep. gonna yeah. stop. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. So it doesn't matter whether you have a degree in uh, anything, degree in business or degree in whatever degree that you have right now. But if mm. you don't elevate yourself or you don't, uh, you know, um, improve. improve your your skills yeah. Yeah. What, in your business, then there's no point. Agree. Right. Because so whatever that's you learned yeah. previously yeah. may not apply. May not be relevant. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. Yeah, I I totally agree. I totally agree. And I think uh, I I just wanted to add on so like regarding the how you, about the whether your freelancers are cheap at the same time about the inexperience part. I think organization who wants to actually tap on the expertise of freelancers, they've got to understand that um maybe maybe ten years ago or even five years ago, what freelancers were has already changed. Freelancers has become even a full time job in that sense, right? Yeah. It's a full time job. So people have got to realize that uh, they cannot make that as a reason for people to, I mean, for organization to low ball freelancers because yeah. these people are running by themselves, which also means that whatever that they have with them, you are going to get the real kind of knowledge directly from them it's not from an organization point of view so you're going to get the best mm -hmm. out of this person that's going to be delivering your services and truth be told i do realize that uh from an organization point of view if i were to engage people to do certain services i realize personally right i would be more willing to pay for freelancers because i personally feel that the quality that they give is way better than organization simply put because this is their iron rice bowl yep. all right mm -hmm. As compared to organization, whoever that's delivering for you is probably their staff. I'm not saying that it's not good, but I'm just saying that they can afford to say, never mind, we make this mistake because we got better clients paying us. <laughs> right? So, I mean, if you to put into perspective, lah, right? You're gonna mm, put yeah, things yeah. in perspective. Mm. Bigger organization, hey, I got this company that's paying me uh, six thousand dollars. As compared to another company paying me sixty thousand dollars, okay, mm. lah, I can afford to give lesser attention to this six thousand dollars because from a big company point of view, but for a freelancer. Every dollar matters to them because every comment that is going to get out that client is valuable to them. So I don't think yes. um, it's not right for organization to lowball these people. Yeah. And I totally agree with AJ as well about the point about uh, how the market shift. People got to actually move the time as well. No, I mean, past the days where you pay people. Okay, I shall not say this because I'm not sure who is watching this because whatever I'm going to say is very sensitive. So I'm not sure. I'll stop it. I think Rini know what I was going to say because I, cons I talked to her about this point a couple of weeks ago about a project oh, okay. so i'll leave it as it is okay i'll leave it as it is so uh so EJ, you can ask Rini after this uh okay, we okay, can okay. take it after the life we can take it after the life so sure that brings me to my next point uh a bit time sensitive right here uh, i'm really loving the conversation because there's a lot of things that need to be debunked um i think you know what's interesting to put tfa and to put organizations together and to really see from different lenses mm -hmm. how do they see freelancers because organization needs to realize the importance of uh enhancing the freelance workforce if i may say so i think mm. that that's something that uh a conversation of its own so uh okay i'll give you some reader because you have been talking quite a bit so that's a good thing <laughs> at least i don't need to talk so much there's a sharing right here anyone who has started in the workforce lack experience isn't it the number of years and clients you have built your experience with any job i suppose anyone who mm -hmm. has I'm trying to understand the question. Sorry, sorry yeah. Uh, anyone who has started in the workforce yes. lacks experience yes. in it. The number of years. Ah, uh, clients you have built experience with any job. I I'm assuming that anyone, whether you are joining a new workforce or freelance, as long as you are new, you technically don't come with any experience, lah. You got yeah. to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Start you got to start school. somewhere. So whoever that mm. comes to you and say, "Oh, you're inexperienced. That's why your capabilities are not there." I think that's crap. That's mm. really crap. I think mm. that's not right because there are people who really, because of their passion, they deliver way better than people who have no, I mean, who have been in the industry for 10 years or 15 years. And I think that goes back to Rini's point as well. People who have been in the industry for even more than a decade, if they have not been reskilling themselves, upskilling yeah. themselves, yep. what value yeah. do they deliver? Correct. Right? Correct. What value do they mm. deliver? Which makes them, and are we still going to pay these people, example, a project $60,000 just because they have 10 years of experience, but in terms of what they are delivering is probably knowledge which is 10 years ago, which is no relevance. Mm. Right, if no relevance. For example, if uh, people were to engage Rini and say, "Hey, uh, I'm assuming like Rini has been in this, uh, you know, uh, someone who have not been upskilling herself, been doing video for maybe good fifteen years, don't know anything new, don't know anything about live streaming, 
come, I tell you how to do videography with three big cameras with uh, <laughs> a, a sound system all set up for a simple video production. Well, nowadays, people are as simple as people are going to minimal or it's uh, very light equipment to get productions out as well with better yep. quality even, mm-hmm. All right? So that's a very, very valid point. I think um, what is your value? I think it goes back to what's your value you have to deliver and don't, mm-hmm. I think for freelancers, don't undervalue yourself because yes, once you undervalue important. yourself, people will take advantage on that. Yeah. Mm. I think that's, and, that's, that's what TFA is all about. It's basically mm, yeah. to educate both public and also the freelancers. And freelancers yeah. yeah, because nice. freelancers, you cannot be uh, downgrading yourself until, you know, like if people were to uh, tell that freelancers maybe are not reliable, maybe it's because, because you are not doing the reliable things for your client. Mm, so exactly. it has to go back to both freelancers mm-hmm. and also educating the public as well what, what yeah. freelancers is all about. Nice. Yes. So that brings me to my next point. Um what would be some of your satisfaction as a freelancer because let's put it this way as a freelancer right you guys don't have your yearly appraisal <laughs> like being in the corporate sector oh yearly appraisal your boss gonna sit down with you okay this how you do it uh you you're gonna get uh ex uh you exceeded expectation and all that oh you're not gonna get like oh yearly bonuses assuming like, uh, like that so what will be some of your greatest this individual, your own individual experience, what will be some of your greatest takeaway or satisfaction as a freelance yourself? This is personal already. As a freelance in our... Hmm. Respective field. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, for me, I think it's the, sat- okay. sat- the satisfaction. Satisfaction. Is- uh, satisfaction. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. So, for me, I think the satisfaction is uh, um, I'm able to work with big companies mm. that's one and also uh i get to learn with a lot of people i mean uh, i i'm someone who likes to also i'm not just you know like learn by the books or mm. learn uh online or something like that but i'm more into asking the experts or whoever that is in this in the same industry as me like uh, uh basically to get the whatever I want the answers to basically to confirm and affirm that's the answer that I'm going towards. So I will mm. ask around. So that's one of the um satisfaction la, or takeaways that I, I I always have uh people around me like my support system where we actually you know um uh, uh, support each other ask each, each other you know like questions and stuff like that so when we have this kind of support system right the the satisfaction of being a freelancer mm-hmm. in the video industry is very uh fulfilling because mm. you don't feel alone in that sense uh yeah. because in in video especially in video is very male dominating and i have i have a lot of male videographers supporting me you know mm. i don't really have female videographers around me so much okay it's more of the male videographers so they are they are willing to you know like uh, uh learn uh they are willing to share their knowledge yeah so that's one of the mm, satisfaction satisfaction <laughs> Why? Okay. satisfaction as a videographer huh. yeah nice okay cool uh okay great how about aj okay i guess for me um like one of the the, the greatest satisfaction in my profession would be that to let the next generation know that it's it's okay to take the path less, uh, what is it? Path less... Less known. Travel. Travel, path. yes. I yeah. like trotted, but trotted is like horse. Okay, anyways, yeah. So it's to... Just so you let... mentioned... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, sorry, sorry. yeah go so on, I guess... Um, yeah, so the, 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 the most satisfaction... Uh, yeah, in my profession is that to ensure or to encourage the mm-hmm. next generation that it's okay to take the path less traveled because at the end of the day, if you know where you're heading, regardless mm-hmm. of whatever path it is, yep. eventually you will find where you're meant to be. So I think that's the most beautiful wow. thing of like being a freelancer. Mm. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Yeah. It's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and then once you go into the light, you realize it's scorching hot and then you decided to turn back and go back into the tunnel and stay under no, the shade. No, you go in. No, no, kidding, 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 kidding. I throw umbrella at you, okay? Uh-huh. I throw umbrella at you, then you continue working because you got shit by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, umbrella very useful. Yes. It is, it is, now, it is. Now it is, yeah. Eh? Random. Uh, what? Well, yeah. Why are we why are talking about umbrella? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, nice, 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 nice. Um, well, you're, you're very, you know, very, a lot of golden nuggets come as we go along. So, that's very good, very good, very good. Okay. Um, perhaps I'm just, I'm just gonna uh just maybe take the next couple of minutes just to uh, ask you guys the last few questions uh just a bit mindful of time uh because i'm taking some of you taking your time away as well so i wouldn't want to trouble you guys um i left perhaps i just ask one or two more questions can can can, can? Sure. i want to squeeze you all a bit lah, huh? try to ask you as much as i can uh not easy you know huh? Pe- must get people yeah, people featured two, right? people One featured huh? oh Oh, got part two. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, I mean, okay. I mean, if like you know, we are if we are you know with time, you know, like for every oh, yes. music concert, you always have on call. I mean, come oh on, yeah, guys. True, 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 <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, we can definitely, definitely. So I can have more, uh, more content. Uh, to uh, we can have more content to actually share. So, uh, mm. yes. Okay, okay. So, uh, we talk about misconception. We talk about some of your satisfaction. We talk about, of course, what do you do as well? Um, mm. I think. I want to ask this question uh, a bit deep, but have you ever felt that you failed in your industry? That moment that you felt like, ah, oh, shit, I can't. I, I don't want to be a freelancer. I, I can't, you know. Yeah. Oh, 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 a freelancer. Okay. I thought like in my field, yes. Every day I feel like I'm a failure. I mean, in my field, <laughs> in my... I'm not talking about freelance, okay? Freelance is, is fine. It's just that in my own field, uh, as a okay. creative myself. Okay. Yeah, as a creative myself, um, I'm not sure about like those who are watching who are creatives. I, I I'm not sure whether you can resonate this with me. Is that being a creative, you know, you you have to create, right? Because you know you have to create um your own uh, your own like music, your own content, whatsoever. And then when you see outside, like mm. your peers, and they're doing way better than you, and then you tell, then you will have that you know that negative a voice in your head saying that oh you know like you know what you're not as good as them. Why don't you just mm. don't do anything? Yeah, so I face it every day and it's my own personal struggle. But then sometimes, mm. you know, turn that fear into a friend so that it gives you that push or that motivation to become better. Because nice. the reason why you're feeling that way is because ah, I'm not there yet. You know, I'm not at that level where I want to be. So you use mm-hmm. and you fuel the energy to push yourself through past that fear to see. Then again, the light at the end of the tunnel. And if you're nice. afraid of the light, just bring an umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I, I think AJ is trying to also say about imposter syndrome. I think mm. that happens to every yes. creative or everybody in yep. the even in, in the freelancing uh, industry. We mm. definitely at some point will have uh, the feeling of imposter syndrome. We feel yeah. that uh, because also maybe we consume more than we churn out. But when mm. we tend to when we churn out, it may get you to burn out. So when you get to burn out, you feel that you have failed. Yep. Mm. But actually, you have not failed. Uh, if in terms of whether we, both of us, have ever failed in our own industry, uh, I think it's countless times. Lah, because yeah. we have <laughs> we see like a lot of, you know, like in the same industry, we consume a lot of things because now we, 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 with, with all the social media that we have, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and now Clubhouse, we yeah. have all that. Uh, there's a lot of information that, that is coming through us that yep. we feel, um, hey, I think I'm way back behind. But yep. at the end of the day, you need to know um, what is your purpose. One, you also mm. need to know like it's okay to uh, be slow. It's okay mm. because yes. you, you, your your effort and their effort may not be the same. Yeah. So you have to follow your own effort. You have to follow your own energy. You have to follow your own, uh, you know, uh, path. Like yes. AJ said, at the end yep. of the tunnel, look at the bright side. <laughs> Yes, don't look at don't Always. look to the side. Just look forward. Yes. Don't look to the forward. side. Just, just keep look looking. forward. 
bring yeah, umbrella. Let's keep swimming. Bring umbrella. <laughs> and bring umbrella. Because yeah, some people might just pour water on you, but you got to keep walking, keep walking, yeah, keep yeah. walking. Then got umbrella to to yeah, defend. Smack people also. Oh. Yeah. Must not, buy the not, my, not must, the rain just smack people. Must buy those umbrella. You press and then the thing come up by itself. Yeah, yeah, easy. Auto, right? one. auto one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that can easy, as easy. a weapon. Uh, so, uh, but that's a good analogy also actually because um I would say that freelancing world is a very is a very open. Sorry, it's a very it's a huge space of its own, and if you are if you are not really going on the right, I mean, sorry, there's no. I do I don't believe in such thing as a right direction, but if you don't yeah. really understand the path that you're walking on, there'll yeah. be a lot of distraction. But you've got to yes. push all this distraction away because, like what both of you mentioned, these distractions are the one that might just pull you down, and sometimes mm-hmm. the distraction is also the success stories of others actually. Yeah, because of the success I, stories you keep hearing about oh what people are doing what people are achieving and all that then you realize mm-hmm. hey i'm not getting there yet but if you actually look into the person themselves that's achieving their success they actually probably went through a rough patch for the past 10 years to get to where they are you can't expect yourself to do it within just one or two years isn't it yeah, yeah sorry really exactly. you wanted to add something i forgot really it's okay it's okay yeah so uh <laughs> pass bit time pass bit time <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so uh Oh yeah, so, yeah, okay. I think yeah, I yeah. think when you mention about right path, uh, mm. when you say about uh, what there's no right path, but I think the right path is your right path. It's nobody's, nobody else's. It's like not AJ's right path. It's not Shook's right path. It's not it's my not right, really path. It's, right path. It's your yeah, right path. It's your right path. <laughs> so wow, determine wow, wow. your your right path to uh towards freelancing or towards whatever you are doing uh yes. in the nice. business. Yeah. Yes. Nice. All right, so that brings me to my very last question. Oh, I'm not last yet, uh, just now. Uh, <laughs> so my very last question. I said, right, so this one last question. Uh. So oh, this one is okay, the last okay, question. Right. Okay. All right, just to give a bit of breather, I'm just going to play a quick 10 seconds video so that you can brief and prepare your last answer. Your last, what, The last question do? is, do? basically, what is that golden ticket advice you want to give for those who want to explore and do what you guys are doing? All right, so I'm just going to give play this short 10 seconds video. Actually, it's just a short snippet just to give buy time lah, just to buy time only oh, but for okay, you to okay, it's more okay. for you to think about the answers for you to think about the answers ah. all right okay. so for you thinking about the answers so let's go <laughs> so sorry but i didn't even give me time to even process my thoughts I'm and like, I was like, oh, what? Oh, oh my god, that's it? <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, time to think, but I'm like, no, cannot think with that. Sorry. So, what would be your, what will be your golden ticket advice um, for those of them who wants to get to the in- field of freelancing, for those of them who really want to act- dive in deep to the freelancing world, but they are so scared, they are uncertain about what is it, money, whether is it support system, whether is it the space, what will be your golden ticket advice? Who wants to go first? Me. Oh, ah, okay. Wow. Awesome. Wow, 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 wow. I let so you decide. Very in sync one. Very in sync one. Very in sync one. In sync, in sync. Your synchronization okay. very good, lah. <laughs> okay. Um, That's okay. why we are partners. See? Yeah. This is very important. When, yeah, agree, yeah agree. when you are in partner, you have to be aligned. You have to be in sync. So if you so, are, if, belum eh? Already golden ticket, is it? No, no, oh, no. Back, yeah. to, uh-huh. back to you, AJ. Oh, back, back to me. Okay. All right. Thank you, yeah. thank you, Rini. Thank you, Rini. <laughs> okay, so oh, oh, now I'm doing screen. <laughs> doing screen. Okay, so when Nike say just do it, as freelancer, as freelancers, just ask. When in doubt, just ask. You don't know, just ask. You're afraid, just ask. Because asking is the only free thing you can get in this world. Then. Wow. <laughs> That's like a award winning speech, yeah. <laughs> uh. no, Ask kids. No, no. Ask kids. Ask kids. Ask kids. I don't have sound effect. I need to have that button. So they got sound effect. I don't have sound effect. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, Rini, are you ready? Let's go. Okay. All right. So, let's go. What's your golden ticket advice? Okay. As a freelancer, uh, whatever job that you have, uh, you are doing right now, treat it as your very first client. So if you are doing it for your first client as a 200%, always put 200% for every client that you are uh, working with. Yes, that's my golden advice. Nice. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, click, 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 click. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. 
Okay. 200%. <laughs> yes, I really love that because uh, you know, some my, one of my my teammate right was sharing whenever she feels she wants to give a lot of effort, a lot of energy, right? She will say she'll give 100%. Because why? She said, when you say you want to give 100%, right? Naturally, that will drop. Right? Naturally, hmm. you only give like 150%. So, yeah. so, a lot of people say, oh, I'll give you 100%. But by the time you deliver, it's only 50%. So, you want your okay. people to receive your maximum. So, yeah, yeah. must give more. So, yes. Awesome. I, I really love that. Ask when you need help. And I think uh, that's a very good point. Because if you need help, of course, you can reach out and ask help from TFA. Uh, by the way, they don't pay me to do this advertisement. So, we are doing this as a collaboration. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yes. So uh, Thank you, Sh- Thanks. No, no, no. All good. All good. Really. Um. So, if uh, anyone of you out there, but sorry, I've just got a question for both of you. Um. Uh. This TFA. If let's say someone who is not in Singapore, can also can they also reach out to you guys? Yes. Of course. Yes. Of course. Okay. Okay. Cool. So wherever you guys watching, because on LinkedIn, assuming you know some of my LinkedIn folks, uh, you know, probably they're from Malaysia or even Indonesia, right? Uh, you guys need help or need some advice, feel free to go and reach out to them. Um, they may be born and happy. They are charging people per hour about twenty thousand dollars. Not very expensive. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> soon, soon, soon. I pray mm. for that to happen. Really, really, I pray for that to happen because consultation is not a cheap process. But yeah, but no, no. Really, reach out to them. It's a community. It's a space. Um, it's really to build the freelancing environment as well. Um, so once again, Rini, once again, AJ, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for having this conversation. Uh, sharing about what do you do sharing about what freelancing is really about, the life of a freelancer, and especially in your respective fields, in the audio and visual. Huh? Just nice, uh, audio, visual, uh, audio mm. and video uh, industry. Mm. Um, I believe that whoever that's listening in after this or watching eventually will be able to get all the golden nuggets or advice from you guys. Oh, the, both ladies, sorry. Uh, I, why I say, say sorry? Because when I say guys, some people feel offended. So the both ladies. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> we are also like a guy because we are in the male dominating industry, remember? Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the only difference we got hijab when that's all. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, correct. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that could course, be one of the misconceptions, also, you know? Yeah, okay, I know. Because, that's, that's another yeah. one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Another we keep we keep that to the another in the uh, oh yeah, maybe you can yeah. take the topic like uh female in the men's so called men dominating mm. industry. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. So, yes, thank you so much for joining. Uh, really, really appreciate both of your time. Uh, I think it's been beneficial for myself, especially. I'm very selfish because the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get all this knowledge from people like you guys so that actually I can maximize it. Not for people to listen. No, no, no. It's not for people <laughs> listening. No, it's not, not important. It's actually for me only. For me. Yeah. Huh? Uh, nice. Right, right. for me only. <laughs> no, like kidding, kidding. Uh, but again, if I were to just summarize what the both of you shared is really seek help where it's possible. Reach yeah. out where it's possible. But at the same time, don't undervalue yourself. But at the same time, know the value you have to deliver because you don't want to disturb the market as well. When you know your value is not much, please don't go out there and charge so much as well. Huh? Because yeah. when you do that, you disturb a lot of people as well. Right? Mm. So, uh, so with that said, thank you so much, Rini. Thank you so much, AJ, for joining us. Um, I hope thank to have you. a conversation with you guys again the next yeah. time around. Probably the next series. Uh, if you guys have anything, please reach out. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in, please look out for my next live. Uh, I'll be doing another live next week, I believe. Next week on a Friday or Saturday, either Friday night or Saturday morning with uh, another friend of mine from Indonesia. All right. Mm. So please look out for that amazing guy. He's in the space of organizational development. What the heck is oh, organizational it's... development? Go and figure out next week. Okay. Go and figure out next week. So, uh, Please stay safe. Please wear your mask wherever you're going. COVID is still around. Please take your vaccination and uh, please stay safe. All right. Uh, Rini and AJ, please don't leave yet. Please don't leave yet. Okay. All right. Please don't leave yet. All right. Stay there. Stay there. All right. Uh, I shall just take you guys off the screen for a while. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Bye thank you. Guys, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Nice meeting you all. I love your energy. Nice meeting you. Okay. Thank you. And hey, what did I say? I love your energy. Yeah. Thank you. I say. What did I say? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Okay. Nice meeting you all. Okay, okay, bye bye. Okay, okay. Okay, bye. Okay, <laughs> okay, wait. okay, so uh, that's AJ, that's really for you from the freelance academy. I don't know why I just said. All right, uh, for those of you tuning in, please uh, watch my next live uh, next week. Um, this content will also be shared available on uh, podcast, uh, it'll be available on podcast very, very soon. Um, so please share this content because it's really to share the information to for more people out there to benefit uh, in terms of the different career path that they can actually explore, all right, to really explore the various career path that's available out there. All right, so 
I shall see you guys again in the next live. And with that said, thank you for watching. From me, Shukri, see you guys in the next live. Take care, everyone.